Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S3, the S2 in black, and a Note 2 as well. We're going to be taking a look at the 64GB SanDisk Ultra Class 10 SD card. Now, this cost me about £55 from Amazon here in the UK. I think it's now eventually dropped down to about £45, I think. It's pretty cheap now anyway for the amount of storage that you get. Now, not all phones support 64GB of storage. So before you go out and rush into getting a 64 gig card, just make sure that your phone supports it. Most phones only go up to 32 gig. So we're going to see if these phones take it. So as I say, I bought this for 55 pounds off Amazon. And what we're going to do is just open it up and then uh, see if the phones can just recognize the full amount of storage stated. Now it's not going to recognize the full 64 gigs no SD card actually does that because it leaves a small partition for system. Right. So you've got the scan disk image that you can use there. Uh, we'll leave that to one side, don't need that, just packaging. We'll just rip that open so we can get these out. There you go. And adapter there, get rid of the packaging. So here we go. You've got the Micro SD card adapter on the left hand side being a black one from SanDisk. Pretty standard really, you get them with most micro SD cards that you buy. Essentially all it does is plug into that and then you can plug this into your laptop or any card reader that you've got that recognises the, the adapter. I'll bring that in so you can see it. This is the little baby that we're interested in, the SanDisk Ultra 64GB Class 10 SD card. Just turn that around so you can see it as well. Along the back you've got a little raised section with serial numbers and made in China along the back. I'll put a link in the description and on the screen of how you can spot a fake one because if you're spending this amount of money you don't want it to be fake and always buy it from a reputable seller and as I said I bought this from Amazon direct no issues at all with customer service or anything like that you can always send it back. First thing we're going to do is get this bad boy installed on the S3 just see how well it picks it up or if we need to format it when we put it in for the first time. So we don't need to turn the phone off because the way the port is arranged. You can see preparing SD card as we plugged it in there. So that should have been done. So if we go to menu, settings, and then storage, scroll down. There you go, it's picked up fine. It says total space 59.47 gigabytes. Available space being the same. On amount SD card and format SD card. I know it's a 64 gigabyte card and it shows only as 59 but the remaining space is partitioned off so in all SD cards you won't be able to see that small remaining amount. Now if you got to this stage and you couldn't see the amount that's uh, total space or available all you need to do is format SD card say yes to the prompts it wipes everything on there and it sort of only takes about 10 to 12 seconds or so it doesn't take very long at all to do and then it'll allow you to go in. As this works on uh, the S3 it picks it up I want to just see if I can get to it from a file explorer via my files and yes you can it's got external SD card there and the system files that it created so that works fine on the S3 uh, so what I just want to do is unmount the SD card before I take it out just to make sure none of the files get screwed or oh, it's the best practice to do so anyway even if you don't have anything on so that's now uh, unmounted safe to remove it says on there so uh, we'll just click that out of the way get the back put on just ever so slightly just to protect it because knowing me I might damage it okay so we'll come out of that now what we'll do is try it with the Note 2 as that the Note 2 is another smartphone for 2012 so again it's a fairly new one so it should pick it up so we'll get the back taken off and get it plugged into the micro SD card port and you can see along the top it says preparing SD card there shouldn't take too long at all that's done so we'll go to menu settings and then go down to storage and then scroll down again same figures 59.47 gigabytes total space and available space because remember it's empty we just took it out of the box and you got unmount SD card and format now if you didn't see any of those figures you do the same thing here again all you do is format SD card go through the prompts wipes it completely clean and formats it into a system that the phone can understand. Now the newer phones will understand the language that comes on the new 64 gigabyte cards because they are formatted in XFAT file system. Now some of the older phones like the S2 which we're going to have a look at in a sec only used to understand FAT32 which only has a maximum capacity of 32 gigabytes that it can see so we'll try that in a second. So the Note 2 picks it up fine I just want to go to uh, my files just to make sure you can get in there. 
all files external SD card yep same files as we saw in the, uh, in the S3 so I just want to do unmount it again so settings storage and then unmount SD card say K okay to the prompt give it a second and then it will say safe to remove along the top yeah there we go so we'll just get that removed there we go out of the way so the S2 has gone to sleep so we'll just wake it up a second now swipe to unlock Oh, the micro SD card is laid out in a different way so we need to switch the phone off so get the phone off there and it'll vibrate that's vibrated so it's off so remove the battery get a micro SD card plugged into the port it clicks in get the battery back on and switch it back on there now I don't think this is going to work in the S2 because it's an older smartphone I don't think it's, it understands the XFAT file system that comes on the the 64 gigabyte micro SD cards. So, but we'll give it a go. Phone's now on. Swipe screen to unlock, and you can see it says prepare an SD card and blank SD card now. So we'll swipe to go in. Uh, we'll go to menu, settings, and then go down to storage. Along the bottom you've got no options at all telling you how much space there is or how much space is free. It just gives you an option for SD card, mount SD card. So if we press mount it will do nothing. It says prepare an SD card, blank SD card and does nothing. It reverts back to mount SD card again. So if we press it again, again it will do the same thing and won't recognize it. There you go, blank SD card. And if we go through to the my files section, there will be nothing, uh, nothing there. So here we go, my files and no option there for external SD card because it doesn't pick it up so the older smartphones don't understand the XFAT file system so the 64 gigabyte card will not work so there are some workarounds out there which you can google some of those are taking the SD card out of the phone and putting it into a PC or laptop and then formatting it that way but the only issue you have there is FAT32, if your PC does allow you to format the micro SD card in FAT32, the maximum amount of space that FAT32 can see is 32 gigabytes. So if you've bought a 64 gigabyte card, format it in FAT32, it'll, the maximum amount it'll allow you to see is 32 gigabytes. So it may not allow you to see the remaining amount. But there are some workarounds out there, and I'll put a, a link to a couple of shortcuts online that allow you to format the SD card via command prompt, and then you can see via that way, see if it works or not. That's been a look at the SanDisk Ultra 64GB Class 10 microSD card which works on the S3 and the Note 2 in this test but not on the S2. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the bottom up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.